Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be having a look at the complete collection of the Doctor Who Missing Adventures. So I'm not sure if you've ever come across these before, but they do make a fantastic series and something I think you'll be really interested in. So that will be the subject of today's video. So sit back, relax and let's get to it. So, The Missing Adventures the series of novels were published by Virgin Books and uh, they were launched in 1994 following the success of its New Adventures line. Um, this was the very first one, Goth Opera by Paul Cornell. Much of the much as the New Adventure series had featured the Seventh Doctor's adventures with more detail and more, shall we say, mature content than previously seen on TV and in the in the early Target books, um, the Missing Adventure series focused on the first six Doctors. There were occasional multi-Doctor stories and crossovers with the New Adventure line. One book, Downtime, didn't actually feature the Doctor at all, but was an adaption of that independent film production uh, featuring several former companions. Uh, another a missing adventure release, Ghost of End Space, was an adaption of a Third Doctor radio play. Um, one release, which was uh, Who Killed Kennedy, um, is generally considered a missing adventure title um, as it features several past Doctors, was, but it was in fact published as a standalone work. Now, the Missing Adventures line was discontinued in 1997 after BBC Books took back the franchise license from Virgin. It is speculated that if Virgin had kept the license, it would have begun publishing Seventh Doctor Adventures under the Missing Adventure line. And indeed, that incarnation does appear in one post-TV movie release, Cold Fusion. BBC Books uh, did subsequently launch its own version, which was called the BBC Past Doctor's Adventure line. So there we are. That is the first book, Goth Opera. Now, this was a sequel and also sort of a prequel from the Doctor's point of view to the new adventure novel, um, Blood Harvest. Um, and this was done in order to launch the new series of books, The Missing Adventures. Uh, number two was uh, Evolution by John Peel. And you'll recognise a lot of these names, the author's names had written for Doctor Who before. Um, this one is quite nice. It sort of says on the back of these, which is a really nice touch, just in case uh, you didn't actually know. But this is a fourth Doctor story featuring Sarah Jane, which is cool. Let's put these uh, side on because these do make a really nice set. Number three, Venusian Lullaby, Paul Leonard. The first Doctor, Ian and Barbara. And that's interesting. It says this adventure takes place between the television stories, Dalek Invasion of Earth and The Rescue. So it's even putting it in context for uh, when the, that book fits in with the TV show. Uh, book number four, uh, The Crystal Bucephalus or Bucephalus, Craig Hinton. Fifth Doctor, Tegan, Turlow and Chameleon. Set between the King's Demons and the Five Doctors. So that's pretty cool. He was always really underused, wasn't he, Chameleon? Number six is State of Change, Christopher Bullis. Nice cover on that one. That takes place between Revelation of the Daleks and Trial of a Time Lord. The sixth one is The Romance of Crime, Gareth Roberts. He's written lots for the series, hasn't he? Now this one features Romana Mark II, and uh, K9, and of course the fourth Doctor. And there's looks like the Ogrons there, so that's that one. So number seven was the aforementioned uh, Ghosts of End Space by uh, former series producer Barry Letts. So that it says with this one, this adventure takes place between Death to the Daleks and the Monster of Peladon. And as a radio play scripted by Barry Letts, it was broadcast on Radio 2 in 1995 with John Pertwee, Elizabeth Sladen and Nick Courtney resuming their television roles. It's really nice that they give a little bit of backstory and they tell you exactly where the story sort of fits in to the uh, sort of the Doctor Who chronology. Number eight was Time of Your Life. I've got to say the jackets on these are excellent, aren't they? Um, this adventure takes place immediately after The Ultimate Foe. 
This is Dancing the Code, which is book number nine in the series by Paul Leonard. This is set between Planet of the Daleks and the Green Death. Number 10 is The Menagerie. Martin Day. And this one takes place in between the Space Pirates and the War Games, featuring the Doctor, Jamie and Zoe. Lovely jacket on that one. Number 11 is System Shock by Justin Richards. Looks a bit like V there, doesn't it? <laughs> that one features uh, the fourth Doctor, Sari and Harry, and that's set between the Seas of Doom and Mask of Mandragora. System Shock. And number 12 is The Sorcerer's Apprentice. So nothing to do with Mickey Mouse, Christopher Bullis again. This is features uh, the first Doctor, Ian, Barbara and Susan, and this is set um, between Marco Polo and the Keys of Marinus. And that's The Sorcerer's Apprentice. The next one is Invasion of the Cat People by Gary Russell. Another familiar name uh, within Doctor Who circles. This one's uh, Ben and Polly and the Second Doctor. And this one's set between Power of the Daleks and the Highlanders. Another interesting cover, that one, for Invasion of the Cat People. Number 14 is Managra, Stephen Marley. A bit of a thicker one, this, quite a th thick, chunky book. This um, is The Fourth Doctor and Sarah Jane, set between Planet of Evil and the Pyramids of Mars. Managra. Now, number 15 is Millennium Rights. This is by Craig Hinton. And uh, this one features Colin Baker as the Sixth Doctor and Mel. And this is set between The Trial of a Time Lord and Time and the Rani. It was a brave guy who brought Mel back, wasn't it? Let's be honest. <laughs> Next one is The Empire of Glass. This is book 16 in the series, almost halfway through. This is by Andy Lane. Um, features the first Doctor with Stephen and Vicky. And this takes, takes place between The Time Meddler and Galaxy 4. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Next one is Lords of the Storm by David A. McKinty. He's written a couple of these. Um, this one was book number 17 in the series. Um, and this ties in with the new adventure novel of Shakedown. Um, and obviously that features the Sontarans and the Rutans. And that was also published at the same time um, and the same month as this one. And this features the Fifth Doctor and Turlo. And the adventure takes place between Resurrection of the Daleks and Planet of Fire. And it says, events in this story lead into those in the new adventure Shakedown by Terence Dix. So that's very much part of the series and um, would need to be read in order. Um, Downtime by Mark Platt is book number 18 in the series. And Downtime novelised the direct-to-video story of the same name. It didn't actually feature um, the Doctor prominently, but did feature a cameo by one of his future incarnations. So on the back here, it says a novel featuring the Brigadier, Victoria and Sarah Jane, based on the original video drama. And it says it takes place after Victoria's departure from the TARDIS in Fury from the Deep. Um, and there's an expansion of the video drama of the same name. So pretty, pretty cool, that one, that downtime. Number 19 is The Man in the Velvet Mask, Daniel O'Mahony. Once again, featuring the First Doctor and Dodo. And this was set between the Savages and the War Machines. Once again, not a companion you would immediately think uh, would be one to bring back, but um, very good that they've done it all the same. Now I'm just going to pause there um, and try and make a little bit more room so we can get these in now. Um, so the next one we're looking at is book number 20. Uh, so we're well over halfway through now and this was The English Way of Death by Gareth Roberts. Obviously featuring um, the Doctor and Romana. Canine's also in this one. And this one takes place immediately after 
the events of the missing adventure, the romance of crime. So it's the English way of death. Next one is the eye of the giant. Christopher Bullis again. And this one features um, third Doctor Lishaw, or Mike Yates and Unit. And this place takes place between Inferno and Terror of the Autons, that, that great period, um, which I love so much. Now, the next one isn't actually a missing adventure per se. Uh, this is actually, but most fans consider it as part of the missing adventure series. And this is called Who, Who Killed Kennedy? Um, and although it focuses on the third Doctor and was published as a standalone novel, it's not a missing adventure. Um, so we're just showing it here really just for the sake of um, convenience. Um, it needs to fit in somewhere and this is probably the best spot. This would have been the spot where it was published. Um, and uh, yeah, it features the, it does feature the Doctor, but in various incarnations. Um, quite an expensive one to track down, perhaps the best part of £25 if you're looking to buy a copy of that one, so not cheap. The next one we've got is The Sands of Time. Now, it's a really interesting one, this. I remember it uh, when it came out. And this is a direct sequel to The Pyramids of Mars. However, this time it's um, it's got Peter Davison in the role with Nyssa and Teagan. Um, so it says, this adventure takes place between Ark of Infinity and Snake Dance and is a sequel to the classic story Pyramids of Mars. So how cool is that? That's really, uh, really nice, that. Last little pile that we've got to go now. So number 23 is Killing Ground, Steve Lyons. This uh, features um, the Sixth Doctor and Grant Markham, who was like a new companion who was only ever introduced in this sort of missing adventure series. He never actually got an exit scene. Um, this next one is The Scales of Injustice by Gary Russell. Um, this one features the third Doctor, Liz Shaw, um, and unit, and this one also takes place between the um, Inferno and Terror of the Autons, and immediately after the missing adventure, the Eye of the Giant. So a very, very specific uh, reading order for these books. Absolute classic. This one by David A. McKinty. I bet he had to beg for this, and this is the uh, the Shadow of Wang Chiang. And now, uh, Turns of Wang Chiang is certainly one of my all-time favourites, and this particular book is the sequel to it. Um, it features the fourth Doctor, Romana and Canine. Um, it's set to, it's supposed to take place between the Stones of Blood and the Androids of Tara. And um, it says on the back here, David A. McGinty has written three new adventures as well as the missing adventure Lords of the Storm. He says no one in their right mind would even suggest a sequel to the Talons of Wang Chiang, which is why he volunteered instead. <laughs> Lovely cover painting there by Alistair Pearson. Um, and uh, apparently it's a very, very good, um, good job. Next is Twilight of the Gods by Christopher Bullis again. So he's written quite a few of these. Um, and this one is uh, The Second Doctor and Vic Jamie and Victoria. Um, it takes place between The Web of Fear and Fury from the Deep. And this is a direct sequel to the Web Planet TV story. Next one is Speed of Flight, which is book number 27 in the series. And this is a prequel, a prequel to the TV uh, episode Time Lash. Uh, it features the third Doctor, Joe Grant and Mike Yates, um, and is set in their timeline between Planet of the Daleks and the Green Death. Next one is The Plotters by Gareth Roberts. A lovely cover again there uh, by Alistair Pierce. It's nice to see the, the cover designer and the cover um, illustrator getting a credit as well. This one features the first Doctor Ian Barber and Vicky and was set between the Space Museum and The Chase. Cold Fusion is book number 29 in the series, Lance Parkin. That one's got McCoy there and Davison. So it says an original novel featuring the fifth Doctor, Adric, Nyssa and Tegan. Um, it's set between Castrovalva and Fort of Doomsday and between the new adventures Return of the Living Dad and the Death of Art. So they're tying those in uh, together there. That's Cold Fusion. 
Number 30 is Burning Heart by Dave Stone. An original novel featuring the Sixth Doctor and Perry and set between Vengeance on Varus and Mark of the Rani. 31 is A Device of Death, Christopher Bullis again. And this one features the Fourth Doctor, Sarah and Harry. Brilliant, the classic lineup. Next one is The Dark Path by David McKinty. Uh, this one's uh, the most valuable of all the uh, missing adventure novels. This one goes, actually sells for about 60 pounds second hand. It features the second Doctor Jamie and Victoria meeting up with the Delgado incarnation of the master. Um, it's set between the web of fear and fury from the deep and is after the missing adventure Twilight of the Gods. Um, absolutely phenomenal book that one and uh, worth you tracking that one down. And the very last one in the series before um, Virgin lost the license was The Well-Mannered War. Another expensive one here, this one's £20-£25 by Gareth Roberts. Um, this one features the Fourth Doctor, Romana and K9. And the adventure takes place between Shadda and the Leisure Hive. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed looking through these Missing Adventure paperbacks. They certainly do make a fantastic series and one that I can heartily recommend you tracking down. Um, thanks again to George for lending me those odd volumes that I was missing and saving me a few, few quid on uh, the second-hand market. If you have enjoyed the video, do please give it a thumbs up. Do please consider subscribing for regular vintage Doctor Who content and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.